camera. I got a lag in my camera, guys, so that's why I wait just a few seconds before I speak, so please understand. Um, I don't know what that is. I guess I'll have to figure it out. But this reading is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do hope everybody's doing well. Purifier, all around energy. Pele, Shakti on the bottom, Kundalini rising. So everybody's going through significant changes right now. And you are not left out of that because that's what I feel like is going on with you right now. There is a huge change, a purification of some kind of energy that's either stagnant or within you. We have harmony. So you're, you were content. This is past, present, and future. So you were content with the way things were possibly with a partnership. But something about that is changing. It could be you decide to take it to the next level. We'll see. You have found the partner that you want. There is, however, some changes and challenges that are coming your way. And finding your power. Awesome. Material and spiritual prosperity. So you're going through an awakening, some kind of awakening here to some kind of energy that is very powerful. You're coming into a, a very, very powerful time. Um, I feel like you were at peace. You got six, five, eight here. Six, six, five, eight. So there's two sixes here. I feel like you were very peaceful in the past. And, and life has created a few obstacles and challenges for you at this point in time. You may have gotten recently married. And there we go. With change. Uh-oh. Community. So this could have something to do with family and a marriage. We have two male energies here. We have a main male and we have a mature male. Now this could be a father figure of either one of you who has power over this situation and that is a challenge. This main male is trying to do what's right to regardless of the obstacles and challenges of the situation. But there may be someone standing in the way. So let's find out, shall we? What's going on with this marriage spirit? I mean, it looks like a great marriage. I'm hearing Matthew. I don't know who that's for. But that's the name I'm hearing. What is with this marriage spirit? Okay. That makes sense. The main male. Oh, wow. And the mature male. Somebody's getting ready to walk away from another situation. Maybe in the past there was a marriage here that was, you know, doing fairly well. And Spirit, what is this? You may have gotten a new car. You both were working towards getting a new car. And I think the uh, one of the other ones surprised them with it. But it may have put them in a lot of debt because they rushed into it. Now they're looking back and they rushed into this too quickly. 
see. Now there's fighting and stuff going on. And this is just really fast moving energy. Could be a player. So there could be a three party situation here. Somebody from this person's past. Or it could be a father figure. Like I said, it's more what I'm feeling here than, than a, an affair. But we'll see because the Eight of Cups is here. Somebody's walking away from an empress because they got another offer. All right. Let's see. And this person could live at a distance, but they're coming back to end this once and for all. I don't know why that's coming out, guys. But they, with the Three of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Six of Swords here, this person is coming directly towards these two people to destroy whatever they're building because he's more powerful than they are, okay? Whew, felt that one. Damn. Either somebody's in a lot of trouble, <laughs> or uh, somebody's in a lot of trouble, I'm just saying. Let's find out what this, is this a new car, Spirit? What is this? Oh, okay. So somebody paid for this, Taurus. Somebody else paid for this, whatever it is, car, home, We have strength here. So, Taurus, I believe this is you trying to hold on to your money, trying to hold on to your belongings, because you know what's about to happen. This Knight of Swords, this rushing energy from the past, you know what's about to happen. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Now, either you or this person owes you money. Right? This might be somebody that you're in love with. Okay? Somebody owes you some money. And you're the one coming to get it. Uh, that's just what I'm feeling here. Gemini and Virgo, both mercurial energies. And I think this popped up. Because this, this person is understanding that maybe they juggled the wrong thing. They juggled money and love. And now they understand. They're enlightened. About this. I'm still feeling like there's a father figure coming in. To take something. I don't know what that is, guys. The Seven of Wands. You're definitely guarded by it. Like I said, it could be a house, could be a car. It's definitely material things. This person wants to come in, stab you in the back, and take it from you. And they will wait as long as they have to, to accomplish that. Wow, got all these, no, nah, we're not gonna take all those cards. The sun is on the bottom. So I do feel like it's going to work out in your favor. Unless you're the father figure, I mean, there you go. Uh, could be a boss too. Could 
this person's getting some information about these two people. They're doing some investigating. So if you're one of these two people, this person is looking into your past. They are looking into everything about your family. They are looking into everything. Trying to find a flaw. This person's very immature. Although they may be a mature male, they are very immature. They are not happy with these choices that these other people made. And I believe one of these people is you, Taurus. I don't, like I said, you could be the father, but I'm not feeling that too much. I'm feeling like there's somebody coming at you that's an authority figure. That's somebody who's um, coming in to take what you got, basically. Maybe you owe them money. Yeah. So you went from the King of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles. There's definitely some, some trickiness going on here. Somebody's being very manipulative. Because maybe you didn't have enough money to cover the expenses of all these things that you needed. And it meant the whole world to you. So you got your wish. You got what you wanted. But now, in the now time, we have three people here. And a Queen of Swords and an Ace of Swords. There is a very, very new understanding of clarity here about what you've gotten yourself into. With the Queen of Swords, this person doesn't care about your feelings, okay? They don't care who you are, what you've got. They will cut you, they will bop you on the head with that thing, and they will hang you in the backyard to dry. And they can go back to tending their flowers. So, be aware of this energy. It's, it's not, it's coming to cut you, alright? Whoever this Queen of Swords is, they've done their homework. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. They've done their homework in this situation. They're coming in. Uh-oh. Well, that just threw a whole wrench into the reading. This is somebody you were involved with before. They're coming to destroy this marriage because they want it. They want this marriage. They want this person that you married. Or they want you. And they're not taking no for an answer. They'll do whatever they have to do to get one up on the other spouse. They could be married as well. Got an Aquarius there. They could be married as well. Get another deck out and see what we got. I do pre shuffle all my cards. I just don't do it on camera because it takes too long. And we got the world again there. Wow. Getting a lot of boss energy these days. Somebody's definitely lying, cheating, and stealing something here. I can't quite figure it out what they're stealing. But it's left somebody in the Five of Pentacles in the past. And it, it has completely rocked this person's world. And gave them a new understanding about clarity. A new understanding that, you know, what goes around comes around type energy. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with. Use your intuition, Taurus. Use it wisely, please. Let's go into 8-8. Queen. So 
So again, we get the Eight of Pentacles here. It's, it's working towards something, but it's stagnant. It's stopped. The feminine in this energy has control of the resources. So whatever maybe you were working on, this Queen of Pentacles has control of it and it's keeping you stuck. Okay? Then we got the Two of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. So this relationship was rushed into. And this was not even considered because it took too long to get here. Two of Cups. Soulmate energy. So somebody might have rushed into a marriage here, a situation ship that where, you know, they they didn't realize they didn't have enough to take care of everything. And it shut down their entire world. But they're understanding now that there's a new beginning. This new beginning, though, comes with uh, conditions, especially in the money department. Main male. This main male has to answer to somebody else. And they're being blocked. They're being obstructed in some way from doing what they need to do in this relationship. Because this person is manipulating the whole situation. They're trying to make sure that this is going to be over so they can come in and have their two of cups. A lot of comp competition here. I don't see the, the five of wands, though. I mean, I do see the seven of swords. There's definitely somebody who's lying, cheating, stealing here. Yeah, somebody who is a player. Ten of swords again. Two, a nine of pentacles. Okay. So somebody here in the past lied, cheated, steal, you know, to get what they wanted. They didn't get what they wanted. They got something of like karma instead. You know, for instance, uh, they had a karmic partner. That karmic partner is being blocked right now, stuck in the past. So this new partner or this old past partner can come in and make sure it's over. and then start a new journey with the person they're trying to get. Like I said, take it how it resonates. It could be another way around here. Um, I'm just telling the story, guys. There's somebody here who owes somebody money, and they're stuck because they owe somebody money. That person that they owe money to is about to come in and end everything that these two have built so they can have it for themselves. There's a huge shift here, a huge change, five, five. Let's see, yep. Somebody wasn't, somebody wasn't honest with their feelings and they got into a relationship. Wow. Okay, so somebody here was lying about how they felt and they went into a relationship that's what rushing in here too fast. Not showing their two, their true feelings. They're, they were gaslighting. They were pretending. They were deluded. Okay? About this new relationship. So that is what's being purified. That's what's being killed. Basically. The relationship is over. Now this person's stuck. 
There's no second chances here. They're done. This could be the father of whoever this person is that they married. It could very well be making sure that this marriage is over. But whoever this is for, Spirit saying grow and transform your life from this. Let it purify you. Let it die and so you can be reborn because I feel like this is what's been going on in the past is you keep ending and going back ending and going back but not really uh it's not authentic it's not real it's karmic so in the in the now time you're stuck because the relationship's completely over you don't know what to do but you're both marrying each other Relationships reflect our wounds. So if you had a relationship with, say, a father that you didn't get along with, it's reflected into your now relationships. It's your self-image of what you were then. If it was a mother, say, same thing or even an ex. There is stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility here. Root chakra activation. So, whatever is happening here, and, and like I said, I came out with like three different stories, so I don't know which story is yours. Sorry if that confuses you, but that's just how I read. This was meant to be. This was meant to happen basically to tear down your entire world so you could rebuild it because this is this is definitely an ending of one way and a beginning of another self-reflection somebody's all in their feelings and all up in their head yep family involvement i can't make it up this person is very jealous of you so they carry around this, this unwanted entity, this unwanted uh, feeling like jealousy, like, uh, you know, not the gaslighting. That's a good example. I'm the way I am because you made me that way. That is what gaslighting is. So they pretend and they don't want to take responsibility for what they've done in this relationship. So they, they personify that onto the other person. And I think enough's enough. I mean, this person says, you know what? I'm out. I'm out. I want a car. I want a house. I'm out. This was meant to happen. So it would give somebody some time to self-reflect on where they're keeping themselves stuck. There's definitely family involvement here. When I say about the father figure, I do feel like it's a father figure for the most of you. For most of you, they're coming back to tear down and fix whatever is broken here. They're gonna tear it down first then they're going to try to fix it. 10-10, this is the end of something and the beginning of something new. Okay? Well, those are the messages I have for you today. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you again next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.